We love APUs here at the Toasty Bros because they can make for a really cheap gaming PC, but in the past we have not had the greatest luck in being able to play esports and AAA titles in 1080p, but today we think that changes. Today the new 8000 series Ryzen APUs are launching and we're going to be comparing the 8700G, the 8600G versus a GTX 1650, a budget GPU most people will go out and buy for their entry level PC, but maybe you could skip buying it and just buy one of these APUs instead. We're going to dive into some testing after a word from today's sponsor. Are you looking to buy some of the parts from this video at a great price? Then today's sponsor Jawa.gg has you covered with some of the best deals on the market. Jawa has an individually created group of verified sellers that are selling components and even full builds at some of the best prices on the internet. Jawa.gg not only has a ton of sellers listing graphics cards at really affordable prices, but Jawa will also purchase GPUs directly from customers to make it the easiest possible solution for selling a GPU. And if you're one of the many gamers who bought new PCs over the holidays, you can offload your old PC on Jawa.gg to make some money back. If you're interested in joining the best marketplace to sell and buy gaming gear, check out jawa.gg today, or you can head over to sell.jawa.gg GPU to get started on selling your GPU today. Big thanks again to Jawa for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to it. So this first APU that we're gonna be talking about is the 8600G, which is a six core, 12 threaded processor that is on the Zen 4 architecture with RDNA 3 graphics, the 760M to be exact. This is an awesome APU that's supposed to be starting at 229 bucks, which is actually very competitive with something like the 5600G, which is really due for a refresh. And in terms of the higher end APU, we have the Ryzen 7 8700G, which is an eight core 16 threaded processor with 780M graphics, RDNA 3. And this one comes in at $100 more at 329. The real question is with these APUs, how do they compare versus something like a 1650 with a budget CPU to see if it's worth actually for an all new parts PC, just scrapping the graphics card altogether and picking up one of these and then adding a GPU later on. So here's how this video is going to go. We're first gonna benchmark the 8600G in a bunch of our favorite games, Fortnite, Apex Legends, Cyberpunk, and 3D Mark Time Spy. Then we're going to add the 1650 to the 8600G and see how much better the performance is with the 1650 and 8600G. And then from there, we're gonna end off with the 8700G and see if this bad boy, this bad boy, <laughs> and then we're gonna end the benchmarks with this, the 8700G, and see how it compares to the previous two that we tested and determine what once and for all, if you should buy these and forget about this, or maybe that card still has a little bit of life left in it, let's go ahead and dive into some benchmarks. Apex Legends is what we're playing to start out, and we are at 1080p. We're pretty much all low settings because that's really what the CP APU, APU, APU is designed for. Normally in the 5600G uh, 50, and 5700G, you almost have to go to like 720p to have like a really good experience. One thing to note as well, oh. um, we were given 6400 megahertz RAM with an Expo, um, well, or XMP profile uh, that boosted up to 6400, but it was unstable at 6400. Can happen with RAM, can happen with any system. So we downclocked it to 6200. Hopefully it stays stable, but it is still running an XMP profile. With all these benchmarks, this is basically gonna be like best case scenario for these APUs. We are using a pretty nice motherboard, really yeah. nice RAM. Um, we'll be doing a video later where we do kind of like entry level trying to make the best bang for buck and using slower RAM and stuff like that, but. Seeing what happens, you know. <laughs> my teammates need me. Oh God. I'm not the one my teammates <laughs> needed. You're not the hero that was chosen. Bro. One thing too, I didn't actively choose to not put the temperatures for the 8600G. Um, mm -hmm. The temperatures don't show up in MSI Afterburner, uh, is what it is, but you do have the temperature of the iGPU, which technically would be, I would assume the same, pretty close. I'm definitely excited to see what the uh, the, the higher end yes. versions can do. That'll be really cool. Because this is almost just uh, how I would describe it is it does feel like the general step up that we normally saw between each APU generation. Yes. So I'm excited for after eight generations to finally see that almost graphics card replacement, you know? I will say the FPS per watt has to be pretty crazy. What would you say the wattage is right now for this whole system? And with no graphics card, I mean, uh, 100? 101. 101. 101 watts. So, that, I mean, really our APU is about half of the wattage and the rest is just, you know, fans, <laughs> power supply, all that stuff. So some of the waste too, because that watt meter will catch uh, all of the, the efficiency ratings, essentially, like how much we're wasting. Oh, please. <laughs> oh, that's a teammate. Ah, please. Thank you. Do my teammates just have me today? 
we're carrying the leader. Oh, 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 oh did it end? Oh, one. I was oh, like, let me out of this. Two kills. There you go. So yeah. Well, APU, we had top of the leaderboard. That's that's good. I mean, that means this thing's actually playable. Next. And now we're at the 8600G with a 1650 graphics card from NVIDIA. Same settings as before. Yep. Not a perfect test, but we're trying to replicate the claim that a 1650 and i5-13400F will be competitive with using the 8700G integrated graphics, which, uh, just a little spoiler on the setting here, we have not tested that yet, so we don't really know what that's gonna end up being compared to this, but we're getting 140 FPS, almost hitting that cap. Yeah, so really the, I, I guess the, the true thing to look at is right now is 1650, and they have they have stayed the same price for years, around 150, you know, 140 to 150 dollars typically. So you gotta almost take the price of this CPU with this GPU, and then compare that to their APU to kind of get an idea on what you want to do. It's definitely easier to play, I'll tell you that much. Yes. Yeah, this, de this definitely feels a heck of a lot better. I like keeping yeah. it under the uh, 10 millisecond. Oh, oh almost. Ah! Ah! Stop shooting. Yes. Stop. Stop. Teammate, oh, no. please. Please. Who's vacuuming? Ooh, Junga. Junga? <laughs> 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 Oh, why'd you have to move? I hate how everyone runs right when I'm about to kill him. Well, game Dang. over! Dang! That's going crazy! So yeah, 130 FPS, dips to the 90s at times, but definitely a upgrade over the 8600G now. Will the 8700G be able to compete? I don't know. I'm scared, guys. All right, it's time for the big boy processor, the 8700G in Apex Legends, and we are currently at 1080p, basically matching the settings of pretty much all low. We really can't go much lower here. Yes, sir. And I'm hoping for some good FPS. You hope for some good FPS. The real question will be, is the 8700G worth it over the 8600G? Is the iGPU just that much better? We'll see in some gaming. 85 FPS with like uh, you know, a little bit higher latencies, like 11 to 13 seconds, so not terrible. Yeah, not too bad. <clears throat> I just decided to lose my voice, apparently. <laughs> that's my teammates, that's my teammates. Yeah, death. Ow, ow, oh, oh! Ooh. I got oh, shot from across the no. map. But yeah, I mean, this is this is definitely, um, you know, playable, playable. You might want to go down to 720p if you're trying to get a little bit closer to like high refresh rate and low latencies, but it's definitely playable. I'm getting the 60 FPS. Really, that's what AMD is targeting with these. A lot of people blow them out of proportion in terms of expectations where they're going to be like high refresh rate killers, but yeah. you know, it, it just... Get rid of your GPUs now. Yeah, get rid of your GPUs now, but not necessarily there yet. Um, there's definitely limitations here, but Apex, it looks like the 8700G is a step up and it is competing nicely with the 6050. <laughs> Ah! Oh. Oh. Mm. Not good, not good. Oh, nice. One more, one more. Ace, 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 ace. No! no. Well, no. 87 RNG, <laughs> Apex Legends. Pretty Let's good. see what it can do in Fortnite. All right, 8600G, Fortnite, 1080p, 144 FPS limit, performance mode. We are going performance mode here, um, which in theory, of course, is gonna push the CPU more than the GPU, but that iGPU is still hovering around 70% usage. So um, I remember with the 5600G, I feel like it still would get to 100% even on performance mode. Yeah. So, yeah. So if we maintain 100 plus, and I think a lot of that is newer CPU architecture, we got DDR5 memory. Um, that, that's gonna be pretty good. It's gonna be a good use case for this combo, especially with the cheaper of the CPUs. Definitely some better game optimization since the last time we really tested APUs as well. Yes. Through the window! The wall. 120 stutters here and there, loading stuff in. Will I die instantly? Probs. I don't have anything to defend myself. Oh, yep, see? <laughs> Someone's gonna push me, I already know it. Hey! Oh, the first one to die. <laughs> you know what? I think the 8700G is going to be better for me. Better run. <laughs> better run. Um, yeah, I'd say average. We're looking at like 100, 120. 
120. We peaked at the 144 sometimes, we weren't like locked at it, so definitely dips below that. So I guess the goal will be, can we hit the locked 144 with the 8700G um, and go from there? So let's go on to the next test. All right guys, we're using the 1650 with the 8600G performance mode. Once again, 144 FPS, far view distance, slow textures. And um, I will say this is probably gonna be the best example of if you have a strong CPU, no matter what, you're gonna get good results in Fortnite. But I think the GPU is helping out a little bit compared to the iGPU. Not much, but a little bit. So that does show really good value for the 8600G if you're mainly playing Fortnite. So with the 760M graphics on the 8600G, we were looking at about like 70 to 75% usage. So seeing 65 on the 1650, something to keep in mind. So we're getting about... <clears throat> Yeah, oh. leave me alone. Oh God, no, oh no. Uh -oh. Get me out of here. No, <laughs> not again. I can't even give you all FPS numbers. Uh. <laughs> yeah, inside we're getting a locked 144. That's what we weren't getting exactly with the 8600G. We're definitely dipping and now we're dipping out a little bit, but we weren't even getting the locked 144 when we were inside a building. You know what could be worth having in here um, at some point is a little bit of 5600G comparison. Yeah. Because uh, that, that's really, I think like my biggest wonder is how much really better is this new six core 12 thread, the refresh of the 5600G that supports Gen 4 and DDR5 comparatively, you know? Oh, oh it's two people. Third party, baby. No, oh, 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 oh. There they are. Whoa. Oh, they were almost done. Anonymous. Anonymous. But hey, I would say with this, we are definitely getting closer to the locked 144. So definitely mm -hmm. an uptick over the 8600G. But how does it compare to the 8700G, which they do claim? Again, not apples to apples here with their claims. It is competitive with a 13400F and a 1650. We kind of replicated that a little bit with this 8600G, but let's see with the 8700G. All right, guys, we're in Fortnite. And we're going to fencing fields, ladies and gentlemen. We're on the 8700G. And the real test is, will this make me better? Because the games I've had so far for this video have been downright bad. <laughs> been something else. Even something else. But it is a new day. If you couldn't tell by the new clothes, it's a new day. And maybe, just maybe, it'll be better like the other games that Fortnite have been playing today. They're all starting to blend in. I don't even remember what's happened anymore. What is going on? Getting a hundred or so FPS. Ugh. APUs typically aren't going to be the most consistent. Nope, not very consistent, especially on performance settings. Ah! <laughs> Peter. Peter in a tux? One <laughs> HP. I swear, I like McAllister knows. Actually, he's gonna edit this first, but like I've had better days for some reason. <laughs> I'm getting cursed with these APUs. <laughs> I think it's pretty consistent to say we're getting 100 FPS, we are dipping into the 80s and 90s at times, which feels very consistent to what we were dealing with with the 8600G. Maybe a little bit higher highs and less lower lows, but, you know, pretty comparable. Yeah, we're still getting, we're getting like 130 to 140 at times. Sky test, lock 144. Mm. Yeah, I will say this is an improvement over the 8600G, but it's, the, it's that $100 you have to try to justify. Right above me. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> I was gonna walk around. You saw the <laughs> FPS numbers. Yeah, that, dude, what what is going on? Do they like, did AMD put something in these to make it to where just these guys find me? It's absolutely insane, mm -hmm. but now that we finished all the benchmarking, and guys, it was a lot of benchmarking, we're gonna go ahead and give our final thoughts about the 8600G versus the 1650 versus an 8700G and um, whether you should buy one at home. Let's figure it out. All right, guys, so we just did a lot of benchmarking and we're pretty ready with the conclusion for you all. So the 8600G is a really good bang for buck CPU. It basically replaces the 5600G and the main disadvantage with those APUs from back then is the fact that they only have Gen 3 support. So that means your graphics card that you plop in in the future, especially if it's a new Gen 4 by 16 card, you're gonna be losing some performance, not with these APUs. And also your NVMEs, a lot of these Gen 4 drives are getting pretty cheap. So it's really nice to be able to run your NVMe Gen 4 drive drive engine 4 with these new APUs. 
Now paying an extra $100 for the 8700G doesn't seem necessarily worth it unless you think you're gonna be upgrading to a higher end GPU much sooner. I really think the best bang for buck, especially going all new is the 8600G. You can't go wrong with the 8700G, but in all honesty, I would just wait to get a normal, like let's say 7700X or the new 8000 series Ryzen 7 CPU and just pair with a GPU out the gate instead of going with the 8700G. And in terms of how it performs versus the 1650, it does trade blows, but there are still games where the 1650 is on top. But in terms of all new parts builds, I think for the 500 to $600 range, if you're gonna build a PC, these are both good options to have a really good upgrade path. Now let's go over some of the benchmarks for the 8600G. Cyberpunk 1080p low settings, we know with an average of 50 FPS, a minimum of 19 and a max of 91. And 3D Mark Times Spy, we got a score of 2,824. With the 1650 in Cyberpunk, we got a average of 60 FPS, a minimum of 19 and a max of 107. And we ended up with a 3D Mark Times Spy score of 4,022. And in terms of Cyberpunk, again, with the 8700G, we got an average of 53 FPS, a minimum of 12 and a max of 95, and a 3D Mark Times Spy score of 2,940. So guys, we would love to know what you think about these new APUs. Are you gonna pick one up? Let us know in the comment section down below. And also, if you guys wanna buy any of the parts from this video, links in the description down below. They will be affiliate links and they will help us out. And don't forget, we're gonna be doing some builds with these APUs on the channel, so make sure you stay subscribed. And speaking of subscribing, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. I feel like, I feel like you said something. Here, we'll, we'll, <laughs> let's do an outro and impersonate him. We didn't do a normal outro. Apparently we did a normal outro, so this is the end card. I'm gonna be like Jonah. Bye, Bye pizza, pizza today. Oh my God, look at the phone. I gotta take a picture of my car. <laughs> See you guys later, goodbye.